Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi, and today we are going to talk about poinsettias. So you know, if you have seen my previous video, um, you know during Christmas time, uh, I said that you know let's not throw away our poinsettias after um, uh, the season is over. Let's just keep them as house plants, and that's what we did. So these uh, two plants, they were inside and as you can tell that they are still looking great, you know. Uh, some of the leaves have been falling off, but other than that, they still look great. Now, uh, these two, I had put them outside and because it's still cold outside, it is mid-March, so it is still cold outside. So as you can tell that these are not doing that great. But in any case, you know, now the season has become warmer. So now it's time that we prune these and just treat them like a regular house plant. So for pruning, first of all, you know, I have my shears here and this is um, regular uh, rubbing alcohol, you know, household alcohol. So I'm just going to... You know just uh, rub my shears with this alcohol so that you know when I, wherever I cut you know these are sterile and they don't uh, harm the plant in any way so this is the plant and uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to just kind of prune them maybe six to eight inches and if you come closer you can see that all these new growth is there from every node so uh, you know it has been uh, they are kind of dormant there was no growth but now it's time because spring is here it's time for new growth so we are just going to prune them six to eight inches from the bottom and just uh, leave them as the house plant so just And you know wherever you cut there is a white sap that comes out even from the leaves you know if you break a leaf uh, white sap comes out and uh, uh, it can irritate your skin so you have to be careful about it just wash your hands after you uh, work with the poinsettias uh, and you should be fine so that's it so this is good this one I want to cut. So basically cutting what happens is that it will promote new growth and you know all the uh, dead leaves or you know the dead stems they they are just pruned off. So the plant has minimum things to uh, uh, take care of and this new growth will just make it uh, 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 the new growth will come out and it will become a regular house plant and as october approaches then we have to you know kind of give it uh, that uh, 14 hours night time and um, 10 hours daytime treatment for it to have these red blacks so this is one and the same thing i'm going to do here i'm just going to remove all these And uh, poinsettias are, uh, you know, temperate climate plants, you know, not too, neither too hot nor too cold. So, uh, and as you can tell that these were inside and they are still doing good and they were outside and they kind of died. So, I'm going to keep them inside. So, one of them I'm going to keep inside and it, it should just start to grow leaves. The other one, I'm going to plant it outside because, uh, you know, uh, when I was traveling to South India, I've seen big poinsettia trees, you know, uh, like eight to 10 feet tall and they were growing just fine. 
uh, South India where it was hot and humid, they were just doing fine. So I also want to try it. I've never done that before, but I want to try it. Uh, grow one plant outside in partial shade and one plant inside. And I'll report back how they are doing. So this is the plant that I had uh, planted in ground uh, that was two months ago and I don't see any new growth in this. Uh, it's not dead yet but uh, I don't see any growth. So maybe when the weather gets warmer uh, it will get better. So I'll keep taking care of it, watering and everything and we'll see how it does. So it's been about two months uh, that I pruned these poinsettias and if you look at this one, um, this has grown quite a bit of leaves So, uh, and um, it's growing very nicely. Uh, it is inside so the temperature is about 70 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, uh, about 20 degrees uh, centigrade. So all these nodes that we had cut, they, are, they dried from the top, but below those cuts, you know, new leaves have grown. Uh, if you look at this one, uh, you know, one or two branches are doing very nicely. Other ones are still sprouting, but uh, this is also doing fine. And interestingly enough, this one, you know, the new leaves are also uh, red. So here is where we had cut and, you know, the new leaves that came, they are also red. And you can see the yellow flowers in the middle. So that's interesting. But normally, you know, this is how uh they will grow and uh, i'm going to keep them inside like a normal house plant water them when they are dry and um, they'll keep on growing and uh, in november end of november or something we'll start giving them the complete darkness treatment and uh, we'll see that whether they get the red bracts uh, in time for Christmas. So I, I always like to save my plants instead of, you know, throwing them away once uh, they have bloomed away. So that's the whole purpose of this video that, you know, even though the poinsettias, the red bracts uh, are gone, you can still keep them alive and uh, come December they'll hopefully have red bracts again. So I am I, a firm believer of, you know, recycle reuse. So basically here I'm reusing instead of, uh, you know, throwing them in the compost and, uh, you know, I'll urge you to do that too. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so uh, I hope this video was useful to you. Um, if you ha if you get any poinsettias in during Christmas, you know don't throw them away. Keep them um, inside in you know seventy degrees Fahrenheit uh, temperature, around seventy degrees Fahrenheit temperature, not too warm, not too cold. Water them like house plant, and they'll keep on growing. Uh, so we cut prune the bracts, uh, the red bracts, and now they are growing like normal house plants and come december we'll uh, we are hoping that we'll get the red bracts again so i hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye